was a kid, around 10 or 11, I, I would get bad migraines. And I seemed to go out of them in my 20s. And, and I, I knew the, the pattern of those migraines. And then at about my 30s, about 2009, I would get these, these migraines that were very different. I would wake up with them. And I never had that before. My migraines before would develop during the day. I would wake up with them. And sometimes it would just be a headache. And I would try and ignore it. But as the day progressed, it would get worse. Instead of eventually, it was a migraine where I couldn't do anything, couldn't work. I thought it was because I was tired and falling asleep some nights on the sofa, and it was the way I was lying on the sofa. Then in the mornings, it was painful to eat breakfast. It was just sore to open my mouth. I can only open my mouth a little bit. So I got a mouth guard, and I would see my chiropractor, and he would say, you know, it's you're all tight around here and around my shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, and you say the mouth guard is fine for protecting your teeth but it's not going to stop the headaches. And another year passed, and I could feel the migraines were increasing. They went to being like once a month, once every three weeks. And then they became once a week. And then eventually I got two in one week. I uh, talked to a dermatologist about Botox shots, and I had it done twice. And the first time, I mean, I did. I, I could feel the relief. Within a week, I suddenly just felt relaxed in my jaw. But then six months went by. I could feel the Botox was wearing off, I was starting to clench again, so I went and did it a second time, and, and it was expensive, it's a large muscle, it cost me, I, I don't know, $1,000, $1,200, and I just, it was, a, it was the same thing as the mouth guard, I keep addressing the symptoms, I'm not addressing the cause, I just kept googling TMJ, migraines, and I came across Dr. Simon's website, and the testimonials seemed sincere, and I really related to them, some of the stories, I'd be like, that's exactly what I hear, so I came to meet with him, and I thought, what have I got to lose? It's just, you know, I'll have the consult and I'll see. And because the first solution was just, was a temporary thing and it was the orthotic device, I thought, I've got nothing to lose, I'll try it out. And it was weird, it took a lot of getting used to, but I could immediately tell uh, the, the pain and the tenderness and just the constant desire to like grip my teeth. That was kind of diminishing and what, what it is now is it's completely manageable. It used to be so painful and tender here, like if I would do that with just a fraction of the pressure that I'm doing now, it was extremely sore and all around here. Um, I don't have any of that and when I wake up I don't even, it doesn't even cross my mind about eating breakfast unless you have that device. And then that's not permanent, it's just, you know, until your bite settles and he sees where your jaw should be. So I just decided, oh, I've got the evidence, I've got the facts, I've seen it for myself. So I would say there's, there's really nothing to lose, and if you're miserable anyway, like you're miserable, so if you're scared of dentists or you're scared of what it's going to be, you're miserable as you are, so just make the appointment, go in, have the consult, and then just see where it takes you, because it's a slow process, and you can see, for me, I mean, I, I can clearly see the changes in, in front of me.